go hunt big neck. My nigga selling creep neck for the stick neck. And I got a big hit neck for the chick chat. Matt Black Hellcat, big love a hot bitch. It is a Hellcat. Shout out to the dick, never bitch. Need a chick chat. Give me a dummy, you know they gon' hit that. Alright, we got Yo Yo 808. She fell for me. Animated Tinder Horror Story, man. Let's go. It works. The, the date ends and she's like, I really don't want this to end. No one's home right now. We should go over to my place. <laughs> He said, what you trying to do? I made and deleted a video talking about how I've been slacking on this marine light real quick. number of reasons why. Well, one of, if not the main reason I was slacking was because I downloaded Tinder. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I animated 50% of my last video in the span of 20 hours. Well... That was only possible because of the immense strength I gained in my thumbs from the hours and hours of swiping I did on the stupid waste of an hour. And I already hear you guys in the comments, but yo yo, if you don't like online dating, why don't you go talk to women in real life? No. So needless to say, I got a couple, uh, No. <laughs> interesting Tinder stories to tell. So one night I'm scrolling away on Tinder and I see this girl and the thing that stood up to me was the fact that she was an artist. So I swiped right and to my surprise, when we met, she immediately Text me and bro, if you looked up into the sky, you could visibly see a hole in the ozone forming by how much this girl was gassing me up. She's complimenting my art, my hair, everything. So I match energy and we end up texting for a little while. But if there's one thing about me, I am a much I got you, bro. I got face timer than I am a texter. So I asked for her number, I shoot her a call and I'm flirting it up. We're joking and laughing. We plan to meet the next Saturday. This was on a Sunday night. So throughout that week, I'm talking to her when I can to keep her interested, but it's it's kind of hard because I'll randomly dip from the conversations for hours at a time so I can work on my animations. But I also don't want to tell her about my channel so I don't tell her why I'm gone. Not the best strategy, but it's working. Fast forward a couple of days and I wake up on Saturday. I get dressed, I go to brush my teeth, and I I'm shaking. Am I nervous? I look in the mirror and realize I'm sweating. I'm. This man I'm nervous. I'm, I'm dying. My legs are shaking more than. A person using an airplane bathroom. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I tried to calm myself down. Like, I didn't think about that for a second. I don't even know this. Oh, my ring light tripping, man. I had some light time before the date, so I start to record audio for my next video to call my nerves. I sit down, turn on my microphone, and since my videos aren't the the quietest of videos, I always like to yell into the microphone to make sure my audio isn't distorted. So I press the record button, I take a deep breath. <laughs> Testing to ah! I clench my ears and fall out of my chair because I didn't have my headphones plugged into my computer, meaning my scream was picked up on my microphone, played through the speaker, picked up from the microphone again, and played through the speakers, resulting in this horrible, hate that noise. distorted sound. I hate that noise. My ears to ring like crazy. So there I am, laying on the floor in a ball in my closet, and then the time for the date comes. So I collect myself the most I can and I head out. We meet at the sushi place. We sit down and get to talking, but I'm still nervous. All the things that went down this morning caused me to be a little in my head. And I'm talking way differently in person than I was over FaceTime. <laughs> hey, keep talking like that. We gonna fight when I see you. Hey, you're here. Uh, oh, you wanted to hug? Uh, my bad. I'm done. What you been up to? Hey, how, how you doing? <laughs> morning, e evening, evening. Uh, how, was your, how was your day? <laughs> Stop playing, shorty. You know you bad. Yo, FaceTime me from your computer, too, so I can see those eyes from two angles. That's a cool mask. Is it Naruto? Oh, oh Demon Slayer? Oh, I haven't. <clears throat> I haven't watched that yet. It, it was just not looking oh, good. Demon, right. Demon Slayer? I was just too deep I, I, I in my head to be myself. And honestly, I'm usually really good at first impressions. But for some reason with this girl, I... I go ahead. Go ahead. Say it. But if there is one good thing about being a storyteller for a living, if the combo with the person gets dry, I literally have a catalog of fully fleshed out memorized stories in my head. So I try to break the ice a little bit. I tell her the story of me accidentally eating that edible and we actually start laughing and the positive feedback makes me calm down a bit and relax. And I think she realizes that I'm comfortable so she gets comfortable too. And just like that, the conversation is flowing and we're laughing and joking. The food gets here, I start eating and then I hear, and honestly, I can't believe she said that, right? Oh, is she, whoa, was she talking? 
Yeah, and then he was like, wow, are you really gonna do that? And honestly, I can't believe they were talking whoa, like- Whoa, whoa, is she talking right now? I take another bite and realize something horrible. I can't hear and chew at the same time. I think the audio messed up from earlier messed up my hearing because I could only That's hear facts, chew, though. But now I'm in trouble because I can't just stop eating, but I also can't come clean about my hearing because I don't want to tell this girl about my channel. So throughout this conversation, I just say, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Facts. Yeah. <laughs> no way. And over again oh, right. while hoping for the best and <laughs> it works. The, the date ends and she's like, I really don't want this to end. No one's home right now. We should go over to my place. <laughs> we should do what? <laughs> I just came to girl without hearing a word that she said. You sure don't got nothing on me. She grabs my hand and leads me out of the restaurant, and the city lights are like reflecting off of us. I look at her and I'm just like, wow, look at her. I, I, I was so nervous about this date, but this is going so well. This girl it is amazing. Um, Am I falling? As we're walking out, this girl trips and lands clean on her face on the concrete. I rush over to help her. Yo, 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 are you good? Can, let me help you. She darts up and looks me in the face and I kid you not, says, you should make a YouTube video about this. I should what? How, how does she know? How, how does she know about my channel? How does she know? Good? She gets up. Yeah, yeah, no, no, I'm fine. But <laughs> wasn't that funny? <laughs> you should definitely make an animation about that. Ah, yeah. So he knew. That's what this was. We walked towards the Uber to go to her place, and the whole time she knew was going on and on and on about how she's never been animated before. She knew this whole time. This girl really just fell face first on concrete just to make a cameo in an animation. Honestly, to this day, I have no clue how she found me. When I talk to girls, I do a pretty good job of hiding it. Anyways, we get to the Uber, but I tell her I'm tired and I better get going. She tries to convince me to go. This be nasty. I at that point, I dap her up. Yes, I dap her up and I head home. I go to sleep and that boy said, hey. I have not talked to her since. That was just weird, <laughs> honestly. And also, if you think I gave her what she wanted, nah, I completely changed her race, appearance, and everything in this animation. Believe it or not, this was a more light tender story. I got. Oh my I got God, is that really that was some blue demons i feel like i'm zuko yeah. i can drop four five i be playing uno hey man hope y'all enjoy